hello beautiful you are warmly welcome back to the channel in a world where many companies are using chemicals promising quick fixes many women are turning back to the nature for a healthier and also a sustainable hair care product or hair care solutions that is why today we will be making this beautiful hair cream for your hair growth let's take this short commercial break you are welcome back from that short commercial break so today we are going to be making a 1000 rosemary green tea and a hostel cream for your hair especially if you want to grow your hair stronger healthier and longer or even faster guys this is one of the creams that i want to recommend to you so this is our first phase of formulating this cream we are going to infuse our herbs first so the first you know herb that i'm going to add to my beaker is green tea you can choose to use the one you buy from the shop or you can choose to you know use this one that i'm going to use from my vendor i just like to use this very one that from my vendor for my products and then i use the one that i buy from the shop for my normal green tea anytime i want to drink green tea so now this is the second herb it's a hostel i'm also going to take one tablespoon mind you we are making only 1000 batch in this formulation so we don't need much of these herbs these herbs are already potent so the moment you add your your hot or your boiled water to it it's going to infuse properly the third herb is the rosemary and now i'm just going to add a distilled water please distilled water do not use any ordinary water for your formulation if not you will be contaminating your product so i've just added a distilled water and i'm just going to put it on the fire or you can put it in your microwave or better still you just boil your water and you just pour on it just like the way we make our regular tea so now that we are done with this let's go to the second phase our second phase is the oil phase okay so we are going to be taking our oil ingredient into our beaker if you can see the oil that i'm using is another infusion that i have made in an earlier video i can leave the link or i can add the link to this video so you can go and watch how you can infuse your herbs i have used the same herbs to infuse this oil so i'm going to add uh, butters i have two different butters in this formulation which is our shea butter that is what i am adding right now and i'm also going to be adding my mango butter and uh, because i've i love to combine these two together these two works well for me for strengthening my hair for moisturizing if you have any problem with dryness these two are going to help your hair to retain that you know moisture that you need in your hair so i'm adding also from a, a lotion craft the B, btms 50 that is my uh, the, the the wax that i'm going to my emoxifying wax that i'm going to be using to combine the water and the oils together and i'm also going to add acetyl alcohol to rate and uh, that's it for the oil phase and then we will be ready for our next stage so guys take note of all these in the next stage so now we are on the third phase the third phase is very simple we are just going to sieve our herbs that we have infused in the hot water that just like you are seeing on the screen and i'm also adding the rest of the water that i'm going to be needing for this formulation so after doing that i'm going to add 
the vegetable grizzling vegetable grizzling is going to give uh, your hair that this you know it's going to serve as uh, a humectant a natural you know drawer of uh, moisture to our hair anytime you use you know vegetable grizzling into your hair product naturally it's going to draw moisture to your hair and your hair is not going to get dry so now that our two faces are ready i'm going to be doing the double boiling method just like you are seeing here on your screen i am just melting down my butters and the oils together and also the emulsifying wax and the cetyl alcohol and then i'm also put the the water phase also has to have a, a particular temperature to go along with the oil so let's just start getting our emulsion in action so we're going to pour the water phase on the oil face and then we are going to try to create our emulsion all you have to do right now is to just hand stick these for maybe about two to five minutes and you are going to leave it to you know get it's going to get more thicker as time goes on as you leave it on for a, a, a little bit of time so what are you going to be doing is walls is still you can see that it is still hot we need a particular temperature to add our cool down phase to this you know this emulsion so right now as you can see you just have to go leave it come back to it check on it as time goes on and once you are checking on it you are also checking your temperature to see if you have below 40 degrees celsius so you are going to see that as time goes on i am coming back to check and also check my temperature if it is okay for me to add my cool down phase so guys if you have watched this video up to this place please support this video by liking this video yes give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to share with your friends and family so now you can see that i am checking my temperature i just want to know if my temperature is okay for my cool down phase to be added to it so in the cool down phase we have the vitamin e we have our preservative i am using a liquid jammer in this formulation and also we are going to add our essential oil so that is the measurements that i'm taking right now and then i'm going to add all together to our formulation in a bit okay so do not go away just continue watching also if you are enjoying this video and you like this type of you know formulation and you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe hit on that subscription button and remember to put your subscription on all okay let it be on so that whenever i upload my videos you can get access and you can watch in the comfort of your home so now let's continue our formulation so now that we are adding our cool down phase all you have to do is to you know hand stick these or you use your spatula to blend these together and get a uniform you know solution or a uniform cream after that in today's video i have decided to give my formulation a little bit of color okay because these green leaves that i've used in my formulation i want the product to actually look like the greens that i've used so i'm going to be adding a little bit of a natural color uh, a food color that is a kind of green and i am going for that olive you know green color or green tea you know kind of color and uh, you will see how i used to or how i have colored these from the white version to the green version which is just complementary our production today because our uh, our cream is actually infused with these colors for those who wants to create or to formulate this product 
I have an ebook where you can get the recipe for professional use or for personal use. So you can get the link in the description box if you are interested. If you want to get this product, if you want to make this product, this natural product for your hair growth, please do not forget that I have the recipe and the link below this video. Did you see that mess? That accident was big one. So yes, this is how my product is looking. It's ready right now. But the last thing that we want to do is to check our pH. Yes, we want to check the pH level of our product. I really wanted 5.5, between 5.5 and 7 pH. So yes, I am going to just demonstrate one part of these and then you will see how you can control or how you can, you know, uh, how you can take care of your pH or how you can uh, change your pH, lower your pH or uh, yes, in this video, I'm going to be lowering it because it was a little higher or high for me so just watch out for this so guys if you are watching and if you have not yet liked this video please give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video with your friends and family and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for just hit on the subscription button and remember to put on your notification for all of my videos so now guys let us check our ph or let us you know take measurements of our ph let's see the ph of our product first and in doing that you just need nine grams of water distilled water then we are going to add one gram of our product so we're going to have all together 10 grams on the scale so that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to take in nine grams of water then i'm going to be adding my one gram of the cream that we just made and then we're going to blend this together we will mix it properly to come to have a kind of uniform uh, state so that we can use our ph machine to check our ph so do not be in rush these can be one of the most for me it is one of the most difficult you know uh, uh stages when i am making product because you have to get that ph to be able to work correctly for yourself or for your customers so what i am going to be doing is you just have to try these over and over until you get that you know desired pH that you are looking for. It might take time, but you will surely get there. So after checking, I have realized that my pH is 9.7, which was too high for me. So I'm going to be using my citric acid. And uh, as I said, in this process, you just have to try and try until you get your desired pH. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to do this until I get 5.5. Luckily, I got 5.5 after the first you know just after this one i got 5.5 and i was so happy for that as you can see there so yes uh, that's it for now all i have to do right now is to package this cream and then uh, you can you know use this cream uh, i will be having this cream on my website i ship the for i ship or uh, worldwide so if you are interested in this product and you want to try this product, you can just, you know, click on the link below this video, go to my website and get one for yourself. It's very affordable. And uh, as I said, we ship world, worldwide. Okay, sis, worldwide. You are going to thank me for this cream. Just try these green tea, you know, rosemary and hostel together you are going to thank me once again i am so grateful that you have watched this video up to this place let me know in the comment section if this is something that you would love to try if this is something you would love to formulate yourself let me know in the comment section do not forget i have the link of this recipe under this video if you want to formulate this product 
just get the link and you get all the recipe all the direction the step-by-step -step direction that you need or you can just come back to this video to get you know if you need a step-by-step -step guide a video guide just come back to this video but don't forget that the link is under this video in the description box thank you so much for watching today's video i would like to leave you here and do not forget we are on the journey to create a natural product on this platform so i will be coming back with a, another you know detailed video on how to infuse you know these herbs into your product and today take care of yourself and i'll see you in my next video shalom peace bye bye